Here is question 3a part 4. So here's our question and we have um, what we've got for this one. It's talking about taking a random sample of three successive bottles and measuring their weights. And it says if more than one of them, so if more than one of the bottles is found to be over or underweight, then they need to check the machine. And they're asking us what's the probability of getting of the machine needing to be checked. So let's start with our normal dispersion. We know we've got a mean of 310 and a standard deviation of 4.5. Now they talk in the question here about the bottles being overweight or underweight. So that's where we're going to start from, is working out what is the probability that it's overweight or underweight. So we can look at the probability of it being underweight. And in fact, we found that in a previous question, if I remember rightly. Um, bottles that were weighing less than 300 grams were considered underweight. And in, part, in A part 1, no, A part 2, we found that that probability was 1.3%. Okay, then we now need to look at, well, what is the probability of it being overweight? Um, and if we go back to the previous question, they said to us that a probability of it being overweight um, was going to be 0 0.05. So that's talking about this top tail there being overweight, and that tail there is 0 0.05, or 1 in 20. So then we can say, well, what's the probability that the machine needs to be checked? And it's going to be checked if it's either underweight or overweight. So in probability terms, all means to add. So I'm going to take 0 0.013, and I'm going to add on the 0 0.05, and that's going to give me a probability of being over or underweight of 0 0.06. 313. Okay, now when I look at whether something is, um, when we're looking at three successive bottles, I need to consider both the chance that it's going to be checked and the vote the chance that it's going to be not going to be checked. So that's my next step is to say, well, the chance that it's not checked, and I put that little dash there next to the C, that means not. So the chance that it's not checked, well I know the whole probabilities have to add up to 1. So if I do 1 take away the chance that it's being checked, then that's going to leave me with the probability it's not checked. And so that's a probability of 0 0.93687. Okay, so what I've now just found is I've found the chance that it's going to be over or underweight, and therefore would they need to check the machine, or is the machine going to be fine? Now I've got to consider the three successive bottles. Okay, so now I need to think about some combinations. So it could be that bottle number one is checked, or well, that goes through and doesn't, and um, there's, it's either over or underweight, so that the bottle that um, comes back as saying the machine needs to be checked. Then I could get the next one, the next bottle, could be that it is not checked, because we're talking about three successive bottles. We could also get the third bottle not being checked. Okay. So if we want to, do, if we go back to the question itself, it asked about, um, it talked about how if more than one of the bottles was found to be over or underweight, then they'll check for it. So let me go back to that. So we need to think about what is the probability that all three bottles are going to need to be checked, okay? Because that all three bottles would be more than one. We also need to think about, well, what's the probability that two bottles are checked? 
because that would also be more than one bottles being over or under. So those are the only two things that we need to consider. Let's start with the probability of three bottles needing checked. So that would be meaning that the bottle number one needs to be checked and bottle number two needs to be checked. In fact, I'm not going to write it that way. I want to write it slightly different. Bottle number one is checked, bottle number two is checked, and bottle number three is checked. Okay, so all three bottles are checked. And we know that the probability of a bottle being checked is 0 0.06313. So it's going to be 0 0.06313. And we've got to multiply that by itself three times. So we're going to cube that. And that's going to give us a probability of 0 0.0000. .000 25. So that's one option there. Now we need to think about well, what if there were two bottles that need to be checked? What are the different ways that we could have that? So I'm just going to do a little section on the side here. If I, I could have that bottle one needs to be checked, that bottle two needs to be checked, but bottle three doesn't need checking. That would give me two of the bottles needing to be checked. Another combination I could have is bottle number one needing checking, bottle number two not needing checking, and bottle number three needing checking. That would give me two bottles that need to be checked. Or I could have the first bottle not needing to be checked, but the second and third bottles both needing to be checked. So what we've got is we've got three different combinations, three possible ways that we could get two bottles that need to be checked. So I'm going to say three times. Now what all of those combinations have in common is they have two probability or two bottles that need checking and one bottle that does not need checking. So I'm going to take the chance that it needs checking of 0 0.06313. And I'm going to say 0 0.06313 squared, because I'm going to multiply that by itself, because there's two times, two bottles that could need to be checked, multiplied by a chance of not being checked, and that's going to be our 0 0.93687. So times 0 0.93687. So that is equal to 0 0.177433. So then I'm going to combine those together because I need to know what's the chance, what's the probability that more than one bottle is over or underweight. And so that's the probability of having three bottles or the probability of having two bottles. And so I'm going to add both of those numbers together. Um, so 0 0.00025 plus 0 0.177433. And that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.011. And there is our answer.